All right, so here's our report of the installation. And um, based on the uh, other video I had, you can see that I've rotated the boiler 90 degrees because it seems to be how everything wants to go in. Uh, one of the important things was getting a proper base. I had to fill that hole in with um, paving sand, which is a aggregate crush mixture that compacts reasonably well. We were able to get a good stable base. This thing didn't need any shim at all, and it's uh, pretty solid. Um, we've got this uh, bushing out, and this is the plan is to make this set up and we're going to put the pressure troll here so we can actually remove it without having to take the world apart. And uh, this will also provide a clean out for the uh, goo that uh, will show up. Now this is where the inlet would normally go, but what we're going to do is we're just going to um, cap this for now. Um, I have put the bushing in there at some from the other side and I'll show you that but what happens if I put the bushing in there and I put the drain on here then as you open up the drain water splashes all over that uh, that valve there so I'm going to bring it out a little bit before that happens so that way when when this is drained we don't get uh, the splashing and then here is our piping and there is my associate <laughs> showing up um, we got a two inch outlet uh, I, you know, if I wanted the moon, I'd, I wouldn't mind a two and a half inch. Um, in this size, the uh, five section, they say you only need one outlet and you got to plug the other one. Um, what we're going to wind up doing is just running a, a nipple and putting a cap on here because that way we don't have to take apart anything to go back down there and put the cap on if we need this to add water or whatever quickly or check checks stuff the cap can come off what we do is then is we go to a two and a half inch size here let me make sure there's a glare and then there's the tie-in to the ordinary parallel flow main that's swing joints making that work the other take off and this is the sort of the experimental rough-in that we have. We're going to have coming in with the, the wet return there. It's going to tie into the Harford loop here at this point. And then this is going to be returned to here. Now, in order to get this to work, we had to impact this bushing out. And... Uh, yeah, they didn't want that to come out easily. We had to get our three-quarter inch uh, impact driver. And I wouldn't have mind my one-inch impact driver because you can see they got some kind of schmoo on there, which is like friggin' glue. So we come over to our other main. And get that glare. We have... Different situation. We have what is known as a counterflow main. So this is more like the book. You're, you come off, you come down on top of it, and then the steam is moving in this direction, and the water is moving in this direction. It goes down to the dip, drip here, and this is one inch. And we're going to tie this back down. You know, all kinds of. Uh, Stuff's going to be happening in there a little later. This, of course, is the skim tapping. This is the relief tapping. We're going to put a T on there for clean out. The re relief valve is going to go here, and the drip is going to be looking out there. So this is a, another example of about how steam doesn't really care whether it's going up, down, or sideways. It's just a gas and it's going to move in and head this way. And uh, this is more like, as I said, the book. Sometimes you, in other videos, you've seen me deal with the uh, return by r rotating this T, and we just have the drip right there. 
But in this case, I kind of like it out of this space, so at least you can get to here if you need to. And so, I'm going to sneak out of here and take a look at our collection of one inch. We got some extra heavy as opposed to normal Schedule 40, Schedule 80. And we've got racks with um, inchified pipe. These are custom cut for us. This is 18, this is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and so forth. We've got a rack there. We've got some uh, odd lengths. This one here is the provenance of this one is this is actually from the Bromoselser Tower. They ripped out the uh, um, sprinkler system and put in a new one, and they were throwing that away. So we know the this is good American pipe. And there we go. Thank you very much for your comments, and stay tuned.